Imagine standing at the edge of a diving board, the water below you shimmering invitingly. You know that the only thing between you and the exhilarating splash is a leap, a leap that requires courage. Now picture courage not as the absence of the butterflies in your stomach, but as the deep breath you take before you jump. This is the essence of what Mark Twain was getting at when he said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Understanding courage. Courage is often depicted as a mighty roar, a bold action or a fearless stance. However, the truth is that courage is more like a whisper, a nudge or a small step taken despite the presence of fear. It's the decision to wake up and face the day, even when the challenges ahead seem daunting. It's the determination to stand up for what is right, even when your voice shakes. Courage is not about being unafraid, it's about moving forward even when you are. Mastering fear. So, how does one master fear? It starts with recognition. Acknowledge that fear is a natural response to the unknown, to challenge, to risk. It's hardwired into us as a survival mechanism. The next step is to confront it. This doesn't mean you have to take on your biggest fear right away. Start small. It's like building muscle. You wouldn't lift the heaviest weight on your first try. You start with what you can handle and gradually increase the challenge. Mastering fear is also about preparation. When you're prepared, you reduce the unknowns. This could mean studying for a test, practicing a speech or planning your route for a trip. Preparation builds confidence and confidence is a key ally in the battle against fear. Life productivity and improvement. Embracing courage has a direct impact on life productivity and self-improvement. When you're not held back by fear, you're more likely to take on new opportunities and challenges that can lead to growth. You'll be more willing to step out of your comfort zone and try new things, whether it's learning a new skill, starting a new hobby, or even making new friends. Improvement comes from doing, from experiencing, and from learning from both successes and failures. Each act of courage, no matter how small, is a step towards becoming a better version of yourself. Emotions and experiences. Embracing courage can be a roller coaster of emotions. There's the anticipation before taking the leap, the rush of adrenaline when you're in the midst of it, and the joy and pride that come after. It's a mix of surprises and wisdom, of seriousness and fun. It's the feeling of being truly alive. And remember, courage is contagious. When you demonstrate courage, you inspire others to do the same. It's a positive cycle that can lead to a more supportive and brave community, whether that's at school, work, or in your personal life. Practical steps to cultivate courage. Start small, begin with manageable challenges and gradually increase the difficulty as you build confidence. Prepare, equip yourself with the knowledge and skills needed to face your fears. Reflect, after each courageous act, take time to reflect on what you've learned and how you've grown. Seek support. Surround yourself with people who encourage and support your acts of courage. Be persistent. Courage is like a muscle that needs to be exercised regularly. Mark Twain's insight into the nature of courage is a powerful reminder that fear is a natural part of life. It's not about eliminating fear but learning to move forward in spite of it. By mastering fear we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities and set ourselves on a path of continuous growth and improvement. So, take that deep breath and make the leap. The water's fine.